So they're all coming out. So as soon as he makes a move on that Mercy, um, they all jumped him, killed him. There's no stat in the game you can track that's going to say he did the right call. You know? Yeah. But the truth is, that was exactly the right call. No, no. Fill a fucking calendar, John. Not a tournament. Not a one-time-off thing. They're supposed to have the shit going on non-stop. And all of this also comes out when um, Overwatch's competitive mode is taking a lot of shit right now for being broken. Yeah, it's, it's broken as hell. But the idea is, if you're placing Grandmaster, if you're placing Top 500, you, you should be recruited into the league teams, right? You, you should be the draft. But if there's Mercy's getting in top 500 with 40% win rates... That seems weird. Right? And, and actually, one of the pros even said, going beyond that, he's like, if you get in the top 500, you're John, right? Yeah. You're, you're fucking Johnny Five, right? You fucking roll hard. But I look at your thing and it's like, it's all diva. I'm, I, don't, I don't care. You haven't mastered Overwatch at a pro level. You're a really good diva, right? Right. A team is not going to take just a diva. Meta's going to change. Situation's going to change, right? They're going to look for players who are playing all the things. And if the Overwatch competitive punishes the round robins and promotes the uh, focus heroes, yeah. then it's useless. It's a useless metric for me as a pro looking to recruit, you know? Yeah. Um, I I'm not going to look to the top 500 for anything other than that's just a meaningless, you know, top 500. So, um, there's also the question of giving you a individual rating for a team game. Uh, the same pro that I was talking about, he did a really great interview. It set off a lot of the other writing and stuff like that on it, but um, he did an interview too of like, what if our McCree goes back to their spawn because we know their mercy hasn't rezzed. And it's 30 seconds left. So we stay at the payload to stop McCree goes to hide at the spawn to flashbang and kill the Mercy. That's his only mission, right? Because if she comes in with a res, we could lose this, right? You know? We don't want to get to an overtime fight with the res. We want to stop them from having a decent push. But that McCree now gets wrecked. He comes out of hiding, he kills the Mercy, but then three of the team are right beside them. Because yeah. pro players group up in the spawn room. They don't group up out in front of the spawn room. They group up in the spawn, right? <laughs> so they're all coming out. So as soon as he makes a move on that Mercy, um, they all jumped him, killed him. There's no stat in the game you can track that's going to say he did the right call. You know? Yeah. But the truth is, that was exactly the right call. You know? That's what's right. happening at the pro level. That's what needs to happen. That's a great fucking play. That's a game-saving play right there. You know? Um, no stats ever going to track that. So having a system to try to track these kind of team stats... Um, at minimum, I think they need to change it to... Everybody in the team... You go in. The two teams match up. You get a rating for team A and a rating for team B based on the weight of the average or whatever blah blah fuck, right? You come up basically with a chance to win for each team, right? Yeah. Blizzard had said they're actually fairly accurate on that. I, I don't doubt them. At the team level, maybe they can do a pretty good job of, of having a good idea of which team's going to win which team's going to lose, right? Right. Then everybody on your team now can lose or gain the same amount of SR based on a win or loss. Nobody gets a bonus for performance. 
because that's not measurable. If we win, we win as a team. Everybody goes up the same. And they go up the same, a prorated amount based upon what their chance to win was. If you were supposed to win because you guys were well outranking the other team, then you're going to go up a little. And if the other team loses and they're expected to lose, they go down a little. If they get the upset, they go up a lot. You That's go down a lot. That's standard. You know? It's how every other fucking game does it. The second thing I think they need to do is they need to make it so that there is two levels of competitive. There's team competitive, where you can go in with a group. And there's solo queue. And the only one that does the top 500 placement ranking is solo queue. No grouping up. Relieve any potential for carry. Um, if you're trying to get top 500, if you're trying to get grandmaster the top ranks, right? Right. This isn't about playing with your friends anymore. You've left that behind. Yeah. Right? You'll have another account for playing with your friends if you're trying to get recruited by a pro team. And nothing is going to show that off more than if everybody solo queues. What kills me is they do this in Heroes of the Storm. This is exactly how Heroes of the Storm does it. Um, if you grouped up, you're in one ranked mode. If you're uh, solo, then you're in another ranked mode. Um, after that, I really think they ought to start looking into some kind of hero-based rating system. So that... Like an overall... See, this is what Street Fighter uh, <clears throat> did with Street Fighter 4 was... You like, had a I'm a player... Platinum May, but a Gold Diva, you yeah, know? Yeah, you had a, a player rating and a character rating. And it would, you know, it would... The problem is with that is that you can switch heroes. So, if you use that to matchmake, it's exploitable. Right? Sure. Because I can matchmake off my May rating and then switch to Hanzo as soon as we get in spawn. Right. I think a lot of people want to do the opposite, though. They want to play Hanzo and get good at Hanzo, but the problem is I'm going to be matched at my May level because that's what I mained and that's what I got my high rank on. Right. Um, some people have argued this is less of an issue because anyone who's doing that is buying a multiple account. They're already getting multiple accounts to play a different hero on uh, because the MMR gets so set once you're established. But yeah, at the, in the midst of all of these issues, these design issues that need to be worked out, um, they're trying to launch this Overwatch League. And it's like, you're getting a lot of people stopping playing competitive. Like some of the, over, the YouTube Overwatchers that I've watched, <clears throat> their videos have stopped being competitive games and have just started being quick play games. Like... The other thing that um, I, I strongly disagree with that Overwatch does, when you get your ranking, when you go into your placement ranks, and then you get your ranking number, they are deducting two to three hundred points from your rating on the theory that people feel better if they place and then go up. Versus if they get their ranking and then they middle around or go down. Right. right? And that works in a perfect world of teammates not leaving, not trolling, you know, which is going on all over the place right now. And so your mythical, I'll get my 300 points back after 20 games, isn't fucking working for me because... My last three games, people have just left. Yeah. We weren't even losing, and people have left. Yeah. Happens all the fucking time. Um, I read a good Medium post. Um, I think it was Randy Harper did it. Um, <clears throat> on the problems with the report system. Now, on console that you're playing, you just gotta go through PlayStation, because I don't think they've launched the uh, Overwatch report system in game yet they for console <clears throat> but on uh, PC it's the Overwatch system but it's not great and 
I don't know that anything is done with the data. Like, I think it is just a number of reports. Um, because I do know people that are streamers that get mass reported. You know, a bunch of people just report the streamer. Yeah. Log in to getting a ban. Like, they get a ban live on stream. So I do know there is definitely a component to, um, a certain number of reports within a time frame, uh, is an automatic ban, and it's like, you guys are fucking up. That should trigger a review, but not a ban. <clears throat> and and the money that you guys are taking from people for your fucking Overwatch League and the money that you've made for Overwatch, you, you can spend some money... Magic missiles. <laughs> you can spend some money on uh, people to review this kind of stuff. Because until there's actual, like... A feeling of transparency in the reporting system and that you guys are acting on it I don't know that it's stopping the uh... are you just supposed to make that jump is that yeah but I got <laughs> hit by something on the way over and um, until you have something that's uh... let me know that might my, my spit because I went in and played the game the other night it's, it's um... King of the Hill and dude picks Hanzo, right? Yeah. Fucking bronze tier. I don't give a shit. Right? I don't give a shit what you pick at bronze. I don't. There's no fucking meta. It's bronze, okay? Uh, there's no team comp. It's fucking bronze, right? Right. If dude wants to play Hanzo and dude's fairly playing a lot of Hanzo, then fucking Hanzo it, you know? Sure. I didn't expect you to be a good Hanzo because we're in fucking bronze, right? Okay. And immediately, people start bitching. Three people on the team start bitching at this guy that he's so shit and he's fucking the team. Meanwhile, the first round, we went to 99-99. And we fought back and forth overtime three times. Okay? Yeah. And Hanzo was doing some fucking work. Right? I actually felt like a point... I was playing May, of course. Um... And I actually felt like a point that their asses should have been on the point because he sent dragons across the point and and people can sidestep dragons, right? It's not going to cover the whole damn point. Right. But you know they're going to sidestep the dragons and you know where they're going to be. And I killed two of them, but I didn't kill the fucking Lucio because that fucker just runs around the damn... This was on uh, uh, the, the Li Zhang, the... Um, not the market. Control center? The control center. With the fucking... He just circled yeah. around that son of a bitch. Uh, um... The market. That's what that one's called, right? The one that's way high up there. You know what I'm talking about? Like, Lucio can get way the fuck high up there and just go around for days. And all he has to do is drop down real quick for a second, touch the point, keep the overtime alive. Um... Yeah, the market is one where they've got the little box in the center. Um, the control tower is the one with the cylinder... Yeah, control tower is a cylinder one. The market is like the rectangle, the square. Yeah. Uh, and then there's the one with the fish. Uh, over the over the fish. I what the hell that one's called. Garden. Uh, That's the garden. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we were in the control tower. Uh, so I didn't get his ass, but I got the other two, and it's like, and and the one guy who's bitching, he's fucking Genji, right? And these guys started bitching off at the front because. Me and the Hanzo are bronze, right? They have silver and gold tags. But... They're grouped with us. I don't give a fuck what your badge is. You're playing at our level because you grouped with us. Also... The gold pro Genji bitcher... His... He was 1422. That's a bronze level score. Yeah. So he had hit gold and fallen to bronze. And at this moment... My score was 1420. I was two points lower than him, and he's talking shit at me as if he's any better than I am. And he's fucking playing Genji, so no, you're not. You're you're fucking trash, dude. Um You're bitching about the Hanzo, but truth be told, Genji has a higher skill cap than Hanzo. You know? Genji is a harder play character, probably the hardest in the game. 
than Hanzo. <clears throat> you you really got to be on your game to be a good Genji. Um, they fucking harassed this guy and blamed him for throwing and all this shit non-stop. And I even said in the chat, I'm like, let the dude be Hanzo. Leave the guy alone. We're all at the same rank. It doesn't matter what your medal is. You know? We yeah. all have the same numeric values here. You know? And they just ignored that. And they go off and the, the three of them... I reported all three of them for uh, harassment. harassment. Because they harassed this dude. And he, he did shift to mercy, right? And I'm like, okay. The dude did shift to mercy. And I'm thinking... I wonder if this guy's gonna, like, just fucking not do shit as mercy, right? Just fly off the edge. No! He's on the point. He's healing. Me and him are fucking doing a two-man stand on that point against four on the other team. You know? I'm fucking nailing and plays of the game. He's staying out of hits. It's like, goddamn, dude can mercy. You know? Yeah. Um, He's putting in. And they're still talking shit. Like, ah, oh, I bet you he's gonna throw and, you know... You know, it's all this shit, and he's probably terrible mercy and all this crap, and... What the fuck, guys? Yeah, and then he left. And, at that point, that's where I'm like... You need to investigate. Right? Because these assholes probably reported him. They probably reported him for leaving. That's an easy report, you know? Yeah. Throwing the game. He's gonna get that negative on him. Um, but somebody needs to look at these logs, because this dude was harassed out of the game and took it far longer than he should have. You know? Yeah. Um. And this is why I'm not fucking silver. <laughs> There's no reason we couldn't have had that fucking game. Yeah. And then they're like talking to the other team. The other team is like, because the other team doesn't see our chest. So the other team is like, oh, sorry, you guys got a lever. And like, ah, oh, we're better with Adam. The guy was a shit Hanzo. And I'm just like in the chat. I'm just like, they, they harassed this guy till he left. And like, oh, he was shit. He was crap. And I'm like, I've reported all three of you. And at that point, the game's over. The the thing is, so I don't know if they yeah. chatted back or reported me in retaliation or something. I kind of hope they did. I would love that to pop up with their record. You know, I want to... I hope somebody looks at it. I don't know if they do. But I hope somebody looks at it to see retaliation reports, you know? You fucking Michael Jackson, like, Moonwalker turning into the Panther and... Yeah. 